Uh-oh. You hear somebody? You better go. Right. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. What's up guys, it's Yappy. Today we have a mission. We are sneaking into a temporarily closed water park. We've dove this water park in the past and found thousands of glasses, name brand sunglasses. We found phones, lights. There's no telling what we're gonna be able to find, but I'm super excited to dive and get in the water today. So obviously we have our treasure bag, our goggles with the GoPro so that you guys can come underwater with me, my hide vest, my wetsuit, and the big scuba rig so that we can stay underwater so nobody will be able to see us whenever we're going under the giant water slide so all the gear that I just showed you has to go into this wagon we're gonna cover it up so no one knows that we're bringing in scuba gear so we can dive search for treasure pick up trash and just have an awesome day sneaking in to this closed water park and of course we got the wife for distraction <laughs> she's gonna be the beach goer carrying around the wagon because my knees hurt you know uh, okay. you got to carry all the gear down this hill oh so that's why you brought me along yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right hopefully all this fits Oh, like a glove. It's perfect. Now all you gotta do is just put everything else in there. That's freaking perfect, dude. All right, we need a towel. There. That didn't look bad. Yeah. That's like a tactical wagon. But now we're gonna, we have a steep hill that we have to go down. I'm gonna make Kenzie drag the wagon. My knee is currently hurt, so that's why I brought her along. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna hopefully get down there. I still gotta put my wetsuit on. This is the coldest day so far, so there's not many boats, but this area that we're going to is like a party place. It's also a big water park. So there's a bunch of hot spots that we're gonna be able to hit and search for treasure, but I'm excited. If they let us in. Yeah, they're not letting us well, in. if they don't see us. If they don't see us. You, if they don't see you. If they don't see you. <laughs> if you wanna know why all the corn is in the back of the truck, we're doing some hunting videos on our second channel. You can subscribe. It'll be linked in the description below. Might be taking Kenzie hunting for her very first time. Let's sneak in. Look at this hill. We gotta go down that. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me and my wagon. Does not have a scuba tank in it. Does it, babe? Just beach chairs. Yeah. We're just hanging out on the beach today. Beach day. Beach day. Hashtag beach day. So we made it to our very first hot spot. This is where potentially the most treasure might be. I just threw up the drone. The first hot spot is this massive dock that thousands of boats use each and every day to dock up, come and eat, come and party, and just have a good time. So I know that there's people walking on the docks, potentially drunk, and dropping things into the water. So we haven't got caught this far. We have all the gear on the beach. All we have to do is throw on all the gear and jump in the water and start searching for treasure. Here we go. Oh, 
All right, I just got out of the water. There happens to be a guy that works here. He's taking all the paddle boards and all the kayaks. I don't think he's seen me yet, but I'm gonna show you guys what I found so far. I'm, I'm kind of hidden right here. I'm gonna show you guys all the trash that I picked up. What's crazy about this spot is like, it's absolutely beautiful. Tons of people come out here, probably thousands and thousands of people come out here every year, party. This is known as Sunset Cove. Like this is a great spot to come if you wanna have a great time. But what comes with that is a lot of people drinking. A, there's thousands of cups i filled up my treasure bag and i literally couldn't put any more trash or treasure in it so i had to come back up i ended up seeing a big umbrella a chair a traffic cone there was so much stuff that didn't need to be there that i couldn't even get out because it was just too heavy it was too far under the water i genuinely tried to get that big umbrella out but this is all the trash that i got out so far all right one corona one pump system pipe i have no idea it's probably something off of a boat like stacks and stacks of these cups i mean bottles just oh sunglasses we did find two pairs of sunglasses that are just absolutely trash and some booby beads. Thank you. You got these for you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna throw all the gear back in the wagon, walk over to hot spot number two, and then get back in the water. Hopefully, we don't get caught. I know what you got. Most of you guys are thinking like, "Oh, Tristan's not really sneaking into a water park. Blah blah. blah. He's not really gonna do it." Oh yeah. Well, there is the water park. It's completely closed. They have it fenced off. But I will say, it only says no pets beyond this point. And then they say thank you. So we need to get right there. That's the next spot. That's the hot spot that we're going to be searching. So we just open the gate, go through. Come on. So we have successfully made it to hot spot number two. Like I said, I threw the drone up. I wanted to show you guys why this is a key spot that I want to search for treasure. This giant slide behind me usually has hundreds of people that go down it with their sunglasses, their jewelry, and potentially their electronics. So there's no telling what I'm going to be able to find. Last time we came out here, we found so many name brand sunglasses, so I'm excited to dive under and find something other than a bunch of freaking cups and trash. I really think there could be some really cool treasure here. Uh-oh. You hear somebody? There you go. All right. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. That was graceful. I forgot to put my goggles on. Oh, I can float. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Amateur scuba diver. <laughs> I am a professional. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of sneaking around, am I? No. How they haven't caught us yet? <laughs> Little does everybody know I rented this whole place out. <laughs> If they're coming, they're getting you. I'm dipping I out. Know. I'll see you later. Yeah, thanks a lot.
really bad news what's crazy about this is we obviously sneaked out sneaked snuck we obviously snuck out here snuck into the water park to search for treasure and of course you guys know we pick up trash along the way and the last time we dove this spot we found hundreds of sunglasses like really nice sunglasses me and Brandon came out here dove found hundreds of sunglasses this time and I forgot that they told us last time that they hire divers at the end of the year, which this happens to be the end of the year. That's why the water park is closed. They hire divers to come out, clean all the sunglasses, clean out, and clean out everything else from the water slides and the other areas. But what sucks the most about it is there wasn't a single pair of sunglasses, and I know that they should be here, and all there was was trash. So those divers came in, cleaned all the nice valuable things up, took all that, and left all the trash. I'm a good person, <laughs> I'm a good person. But that's why I have a treasure bag full of cups that come right from that place. So all these people are coming, having a good time drinking and then treating this body of water like a piece of crap. So do better people. Like I love to have a good time, but it's so easy just to throw things away. Just throw it in the trash can. There's and. What's the craziest part is there's trash cans everywhere. Literally everywhere, all over this beach, there's trash cans. And they decided to throw it in the water. But on a good note, we got a bunch of trash out of the water. There's still so much trash here. I didn't, I wasn't able to spend a lot of time. The water got super deep and sketchy. And if you guys know about Lake Lanier, if you've heard about the TikToks and all the stories, like it's really eerie out here. The water is a little bit murky. I would love to have another diver with me. I don't advise people on diving. So if you're watching this video, don't go and dive by yourself. I don't even, don't even go and swim by yourself. I always have somebody with you, but I didn't feel safe out there it started to drop off way deeper than I wanted it to be and it was murky so if you guys want us to come back out maybe team up with Brandon or Drake bring another diver out here and search for treasure leave this video a big thumbs up if there's enough support I'll make sure to bring out one of the guys also let me know how you feel in the comment section below about all this trash in the water and obviously we try to do our best to clean up as much as possible but this is unacceptable obviously me Jake and Brandon are gonna keep doing our part cleaning every body of water that we go to trying to make it a better place every place that we leave so I know it wasn't I know we didn't find any banger finds or any treasure but it feels good to clean up this body of water and I'm sure like many other bodies of waters it needs a lot of TLC. I think we're gonna have to get out of here and end this video sneaking on to the water park I guess in some people's eyes might be a success but for the people that came to see the good finds I'm sorry but I don't know how to end this I guess that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching this video I know it's been a while since we've been posting but we're posting on the second channel, Yappy Fam, a lot of hunting videos and a lot of stuff that me and Kinsey are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you wanna go and follow us there, make sure to go and subscribe to our second channel right there. It'll be linked in the description. So if you guys wanna know what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, just follow us on our Instagram and we're gonna be posting more on this channel and our second channel. So they'll all be linked below. Stay tuned to the channel. Oh, I actually found something cool. I found this bracelet. It's kind of cool, right? But that is pretty much it for today's video. Please comment below what you guys want to see next. It's hard to come up with videos and this time of year, it's starting to get colder. We might not be able to dive as much, but if you guys have any cool ideas, whether it's magnet fishing, diving videos, something that you want to see with Brandon or Jake, maybe something that I can do with Kinsey, let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys. It feels good to be back diving and filming. And if you guys want to see some hunting videos, head over to Yappy Fam, click it in the link. That is it. I love you guys. Peace out. Wait. I love you guys. I don't even, it's been so long. I love you guys. And as always, 